Hello, I'm Peter Judge from Data Center Dynamics, and I'm here at CBIT, where I'll be talking to Kushagra Vaid from Microsoft about a development which could have some pretty profound uh, implications for data centers. Kushagra. Hello, Peter. Good to Good meet to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's about the power supplies, isn't it? Or about more of about the uninterruptible power supplies. That's right, yeah. And um, as I understand it, last week Microsoft announced a new version of the Open Cloud Server specification, which you're sharing with the industry, and which could, in your, you, you're telling us, could actually save qu a quarter of the space in a data center. That's right. Yes, so, so last week uh, at the Open Compute Summit, uh, we introduced uh, this new technology we call LES for mm -hmm. uh, local energy storage. Yes. And essentially, it's a power supply with a built-in battery. Right. So the idea is that uh, in a traditional data center, there are you know big rooms with, uh, let us say, batteries, and there's UPS control systems. Uh, so we have this uh, new design that can completely eliminate all of those traditional design requirements. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, I have one of them here right now with me. Right. Uh, this is uh, this is the unit itself. Right. It's uh, it's a common slot yes. uh, power supply, so yes. that it interfaces with the industry mm -hmm. standards. Yes. Anyone who maintains servers in a server room will say that looks pretty ordinary. It's just a power supply. That's right. But uh, the magic is. Um, there's two things inside. One is the power supply itself. Yes. And the second is uh, uh, an array of batteries. Yes. And the batteries we use are these types. So this is a little bit bigger than a AA battery. Yes. It's, uh, it's, uh, the, it's called 16, uh, 18650. Yes. Uh, it's a commercial lithium ion cell that is used in uh, extreme volume yes. uh, in the power tools industry. So if you know about uh, the hand drills and the electric cars. Yes. It's the same battery that's used uh, in those right. industries. So they're massively reliable. They're massively reliable. There was over 100 million of these batteries that shipped mm -hmm. last year. Right. Uh, it's been uh, tested for extreme conditions. It's, mm -hmm. it's low cost. Okay, and so the idea is if you've got, instead of having a one room full of lead acid batteries that's your UPS, you right. distribute the UPS so that every server has, has its own little bit of battery. Now, right. that's not entirely new. People have tried that to some extent before. That is correct, yeah. The people have tried putting UPSs in racks. Yes. Uh, the big difference here is that um, the, 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 the previous designs used to be an inline UPS. Right. In the sense that uh, the electrical current would first go into the UPS and it would then go into the IT load. Yes. Now whether that was done at the data center level, yes. or the row level, or the rack level, it was still in nine. Yes. What nine. we have done here is uh, we have put the batteries in parallel yes. to the bulk capacitance yes. that is inside the power supply. Right. So it's essentially uh, you know, a new power supply design yes. with pretty much uh, 99.9% efficiency. Yes, it's massively simpler. Instead of backing up the IT load, you're backing up the, the capacity inside the power supply, is, which you already have. Which you already have. I think you're going to have a job convincing IT managers of the benefits of this thing you're offering. So t tell me again what the benefits of it are. Uh, I would quantify the benefits in uh, three numbers. Mm -hmm. And the first one is it's a 5x cost reduction. Mm -hmm. versus a traditional UPS design. Right. The second one, and, and I'll go into details of how. Yes. The second one is, uh, it's a 25% reduction in the facility footprint. Yes. Which can be up to $30 million in savings. Mm -hmm. The third one is, it's a 15% improvement in PUE. Right. So so these are the, the benefits from a CapEx standpoint. Now there's some other benefits yes. if, you, if you're an IT okay. manager. Essentially, now you can add UPS capacity uh, on the go. Right. Uh, so unlike a typical data center where you provision the UPS room even before a single server goes in, yes. now as you build out your server capacity, yes. you can add your UPS capacity. Every server brings a bit of UPS Every in with it. Every server brings a bit of UPS. Okay. And so the, uh, the 5x cost reduction, that's because these commodity batteries are cheaper, is that right? Yeah, it's, uh, it comes from two, uh, two pieces. One mm -hmm. is the commodity battery itself. Right. Yeah. The, second, the second piece is essentially because uh, 
uh, the traditional UPS designs mm -hmm. uh, are uh, they are big to maintain. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, usually they are not reliable yeah. enough mm -hmm. uh, to be to take on the failover yeah. load. Yeah. Uh, so most data center operators install a mm -hmm. dual redundant pair of yeah. UPSs. Mm -hmm. Then you have an ATS switch that's you know that mm -hmm. enables you to switch back and yeah. forth. Mm -hmm. So essentially, we are getting rid of all of that infrastructure. Right. Yes. So that's where the five X comes from. Yeah, and I've got to say this now, but. When Kushagra says these are commodity batteries, they really are. He, he was showing me his red battery the other day, and um, I, uh, and I, I went away and dropped my. I, I've got a, a UPA, I've got a USB hub here for charging my phone. I dropped it. The lid came off, and inside I've got two of these just exactly the same uh, batteries that are inside uh, Kushagra's box. Yeah, these, uh, yeah, uh, uh, we, we got some numbers on the batteries, and there's over 100 million that shipped last year. Right. And uh, with the car industry going mm -hmm. more to electric cars, yes. it's expected to become even higher volumes. Right. So we'll ride that commodity curve down mm -hmm. uh, and get the benefits of the cost savings. Okay, and the 25% space savings, that's because every data center has a big room full of that's batteries. Correct. Yeah, in fact, there's two big rooms. One right. is for the batteries themselves, yes. and the other one is for the UPS controls. Right, okay. So the math we did was uh, the, the combination of these two rooms in mm -hmm. a typical data center is about 150,000 square feet. Right. And at uh, $220 yes. per square feet for the build cost, yes. if you do the multiplication, it comes to about $30 million right. in savings. Yes. You're not replacing mm -hmm. the diesel gen sets, are you? They still need those. You'll still need the diesel gen sets. Okay. And the PUE improvement, that sounds very impressive. And that's because of simplifying the, uh, the power distribution, is that right? Uh, yeah, it's because of that, and it's also the, the recharge. Mm -hmm. So t in a typical UPS, you have to reserve uh, about 8 to 9% of uh, UPS capacity for the recharge. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, you have to reserve no more than 1%. Oh, perfect. So that, th that, that gives you the big boost in PUE. And you know, you know the thing is, uh, at a time, when there's a lot of um, pressure on yes. IT budgets yes. and uh, eff efficiency improvements, mm -hmm. getting a 15% PUE improvement is very hard. Mm -hmm. But this is an easy way to get there. Yes, excellent. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Peter. Nice meeting you.